technology has generously given us so much that we enjoy in the world around us. The computer or smartphone you're using right now, for example, has connected you to List25 in a way that wouldn't have been possible if not for the technological advancements of our high-tech era. The good news is that technology won't stop anytime soon, giving us new things that we can use for good purpose. The bad news, however, is that certain technologies should be available by now, but they're not. I'm Michael Fliss25, and the following list of 20 technologies we were promised that should exist by now is clear proof that we have not come as far as we wished we had. 20. Flying cars. The idea of flying cars isn't new. Actually, the first man mentioning them was Henry Ford back in 1926. He even created an experimental single-seat airplane that he called the Sky Fliver. That can't be a name. The project never took off. The next attempt was conducted by the Soviets in 1942. They tried to allow a tank to glide onto a battlefield after being towed off by an airplane to support airborne forces or partisans. A prototype was built and tested, but the whole idea didn't get off the ground. <laughs> didn't I just... Said automaker Pal V recently exhibited a demo car that costs around $621,000. This car is supposed to fly, but, well, have you seen any flying cars lately? I sure haven't. 19. Teleportation Devices Fans of Star Trek probably understand the idea of teleportation. Science lovers are also quite familiar with quantum teleportation the theoretical technology of instantly transmitting information from one location to another. Researchers once claimed that we would be able to do the same with humans, but as you can see for yourselves, this still only happens in Star Trek movies. Despite what popular science articles may tell you, this kind of Trekkie transportation is not likely to happen anytime in the foreseeable future, simply because our technology can't transmit human atoms from one place to another. Wait, Tristan. What? I'm not doing it. Make me teleport. No. Damn it. Here, just in no. case. No. Just in case. No, you're re you're messing up the key. <laughs> you know how hard I worked to get this key? Not very. Hey. 18. Virtual reality. In the 1970s, there was euphoria in the world of technology about virtual reality and all of its hypothetical advantages on a scientific level. Experts back then predicted that VR would be the greatest technological accomplishment in the early decades of the 21st century. Half a century later, it seems like the only field where VR indeed made a difference is in the world of video games. So some may argue that virtual reality in corporate communications is another clear sign that we're ready for the next step in this technology, but most researchers agree there's a long path we have to cross to reach that point. How cool do I look on a scale of 1 to 25? Negative 25. Oh my goodness, that cool? 17. The Dyson Sphere. Proponents of solar power know that only a tiny fraction of the sun's total energy strikes the Earth. What if we could collect all of the sun's energy, though? If that were possible, we'd be able to use some form of Dyson Sphere, sometimes referred to as a Dyson Shell. Physicist and astronomer Freeman J. Dyson first explored this idea as a thought experiment in 1960. Dyson imagined a solar system-sized collection system of solar power. He pictured it not as a power source for us Earthlings, but as a technology that other advanced civilizations in our galaxy would inevitably use. Dyson proposed that searching for evidence of the existence of such structures might lead to the discovery of advanced civilizations elsewhere in the galaxy. Sixty years later, however, this remains a theory. 16. Time Travel The concept of time travel has always captured the imagination of physicists and laypersons alike. Normally, it should be number one on our list. However, the fact that time travel has even been discussed as a realistic possibility of the near future, and failed each time, makes the whole subject, well, comical. So the question remains, is time traveling possible? Of course, we're doing it right now, aren't we? We are traveling into the future. 
one second at a time. Lame. 15. Mind uploading. In case you don't know what mind uploading is about, allow me to give you some help here. A mind upload or brain upload is the hypothetical futuristic process of scanning the mental state, including long-term memory and self, of a brain and copying it to a computer. In other words, one could argue this is a form of immortality, which could be a good and scary thing. By 2045, humans should be able to achieve digital immortality by uploading their minds to computers. Or at least that's what some futurists suggest. The only problem is that some other futurists from the 1980s predicted that mind uploading would already be a thing by now, but as you can see, it isn't. 14. Lightsabers. Creating a lightsaber isn't a new idea, but it's never been done successfully. As a Star Wars fanatic, I would like to explain why creating a lightsaber isn't easy. The obvious issue here is that we don't have force fields. While this might change in the future, the force field would need to be able to contain heat from the plasma arc, but consume very little energy. Of course, we do have the ability to generate superheated plasma arcs, but we don't currently have a good way to efficiently turn it back into electrical energy. We would also need more efficient power sources. The energy required to cut through a thick wall or bar is more than modern batteries can handle. Until this changes, any form of lightsaber will die after a momentary cut through a thick, solid object. Last but not least, we need a very efficient way to recharge the batteries. Being able to reconvert plasma arcs into energy is useless if you can't store it. Thirteen. Shrink Ray. Don't let the terminology shrink ray here deceive you. Think of Ant-Man and you've got it. What he can do in the comics and films is what shrink rays are all about. So is it achievable in the real world? The answer is probably not. Why? Well, just like Star Trek teleportation, those damn atoms are to blame. See, if you wanted to shrink a la Ant-Man, either your atoms would have to shrink too, or you would have to be made out of fewer atoms. And atoms don't shrink. The average distance between the protons and neutrons that make up the nucleus of an atom and their surrounding electrons can't be changed. <sighs> Sorry to ruin it for you, but we just can't shrink. 12. Rocket Packs the idea of rocket packs has been around, mainly in science fiction, since the 1960s. They've also been used for activities for the astronauts in outer space. However, it was supposed to be an actual technology here on planet Earth. The basic principle on which a rocket pack is supposed to work is Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The hot gas produced when fuels burn in the combustion chamber shoots downward, which produces an upward thrust. For the record, the only human I've ever seen using these was Michael Jackson during his epic concerts back in the 1990s. And according to the rumors, Michael had a few accidents, which was the reason he had to stop using them. Also Boba Fett. 11. Superluminal motion. Superluminal motion, also known as faster than light travel, is considered the speculative propagation of information faster than the speed of light. In astronomy, superluminal motion is the faster than light motion seen in some radio galaxies and other space objects that are thought to contain a black hole, responsible for the ejection of mass at high velocities. Several researchers and experts claim that humans would be able to control superluminal motion and use it to travel to other galaxies. Um, I don't think it'll be happening in uh, this century or the next. Or the one after that. Or the one after that. Or... Yeah. 10. <clears throat> Before you ask, the answer is no. Why? I'm not doing it. Damn it! <sighs> Maybe. Yeah! Fine. Yay! Human cloning. Even though it would be totally unethical, many scientists claim that it is biologically possible to clone a human being. Since the 1950s, when researchers cloned a frog, scientists have cloned dozens of animal species, including mice, cats, sheep, pigs, and cows. Oh my! 
Putting ethics aside, most experts agree that science can't apply the current technology used in cloning cows or cats to clone people. So even if the world were dominated by a bunch of unethical leaders, we still would not have the ability to clone humans. Nine, life in space. 50 years ago, humans not only walked on the moon, but they even played golf up there. The motto back in the 1970s was that the moon and even Mars would be our colonies sooner or later. The sad truth, however, is that we haven't been able to even visit the moon again since 1972. Elon Musk would like to know your location. Gainesville, Florida, right here. Huh. Let's do it. Eight, 3D bioprinting. Researchers have already used bioprinting to introduce cells to help repair the heart after a heart attack, as well as deposit cells into wounded skin or cartilage. Bioprinting has also been used to fabricate heart valves for possible use in patients with heart disease, as well as to build muscle and bone tissue and help repair nerves. So one could say that bioprinting is successfully established and shouldn't be on this list. This would be only partially right though. See, the Defense Threat Reduction Agency is attempting to further enhance this technology. Their aim is to create mini organs such as hearts, livers, and lungs with the use of 3D bioprinting to test new drugs accurately without having to test them on animals first. Seven, Superman vision. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, intends to enhance soldiers' vision with virtual reality contact lenses, or so they claim. Instead of relying on bulky helmets and goggles to provide vital battlefield data, DARPA has promised to create contact lenses with built-in systems that would allow soldiers to focus on distant targets and overlay their vision with tactical information. The so-called Superman vision was supposed to be a reality by now. But I guess we'll have to wait a little longer. Six, data-driven healthcare. For years now, doctors and hospitals around the world have collected information on various diseases, their diagnoses and treatments for research. The bad thing is that most of this information gets stored within individual databases. The so-called data-driven healthcare promises to accumulate, analyze, evaluate, standardize, and improve the use of accurate and appropriate data from all over the world. It hasn't happened yet, obviously. Five, cure for cancer. Back in 1910, American President William Howard Taft promised the cure for cancer. He actually said, within five years, cancer will have been removed from the list of fatal maladies. That was definitely wishful thinking, taking into consideration the scientific and technological progress of his time. This statement was actually part of his political campaign. He was visiting Buffalo's Gratwick Laboratory, now Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center, when he made that statement. More than a century later, it's reasonable to ask, what's taking so long, right? Four, self-driving cars. A self-driving car, also known as an autonomous vehicle, or an AV, was supposed to hit the markets back in the 1990s. It didn't happen. What is a self-driving car? Well, it's a connected and autonomous vehicle, aka a driverless car, or a robo-car for the true geeks out there, which is capable of sensing its environment and moving safely with little to no human input. I'm not sure if this will happen anytime soon. There are too many bad human drivers out there already. Bad robocars would make traffic on the streets even crazier. Three, instant translation. While DARPA, Globo, Unbabel, Google, and other companies compete for the creation of the best instant translator online, the truth is that not one of them has come close to doing it properly. It's amazing how this list is literally full of unrealistic technological promises when it seems nearly impossible to develop what theoretically should be an easy task. That's what doubting sounds like. Don't be pessimistic. I'm optimistic. Well, yeah, you're just reading what you're told to read. Yeah. Two, self-cleaning clothes. In 2016, Australian researchers claimed to have discovered a way to make clothes wash themselves. The self-cleaning textiles developed at RMIT University in Melbourne only need a spot of sunshine to get rid of those spills and stains. The method is supposed to be a really cheap and efficient way to grow special nanostructures, 
which can degrade organic matter when exposed to light, directly onto textiles. Almost four years later, and this technology hasn't conquered the markets yet. Where is it? 1. Emotion Recognition Emotion AI Human emotion recognition plays a vital role in interpersonal relationships. It's also one of the main things to differentiate humans from machines. For this reason, extracting and understanding emotion is important in the interaction between humans and machines. The current technological vision is to develop emotion AI, or emotion recognition technology, that can detect emotion just the way humans do, from multiple channels. I'm not sure if machines will ever be able to detect human emotion with accuracy, though. If humans can deceive other humans, they'll definitely be able to deceive machines. So, what technology do you wish existed? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answer to us at list25 or to me personally at Michael B. Estrin. And if you like this list, be sure to check out this playlist here or somewhere on the screen.